Good morning everyone, it's Haley. Welcome to Mom Life Vermont and welcome to another day in the life of this fun adventure of a weight loss journey. Good morning everyone. So yeah, yesterday's video got cut off and I didn't film at all at all anymore yesterday. I have no idea why, but welcome to a new day. I I was semi-successful. I, I didn't even get 10,000 steps yesterday. I don't know how I feel like that makes me semi-successful because usually 10 to 11,000 days are successes. Under that are not. So I got like 8,000 steps, but I did the stretching exercises that I got from my wellness coach. I also did one of the exercises with the Team Body Project. I'm really thinking I'm going to need to invest in that Team Body Project because... I just really like the exercises. I feel like I don't have to think about it. I just like turn it on and I say, I'm on day four. Okay, there's day four. Let's click it and do it. Just makes it very easy. Sometimes like the searching for the exercises is um, hard and makes it hard. I don't know. Well, one thing I've been thinking about, I have been very successful. I feel like with the exercise part of this journey and very unsuccessful with the food part of this journey. And early on, in these videos during one of my weeks in the life I focused in on like no excuses for really weight exercising really exercising but I need to now focus on no excuses for food be excited for next week's video I think I'm gonna do a week in the life of food tracking of me thinking about no excuses for the lack of eating good food or eating non-stop bad food I went grocery shopping and I did a really really good grocery shopping haul. I got lots of fruits and not a lot of fruit. I got lots of veggies. I feel like I, I've, I've set myself up for a good couple of weeks. I just need to be mindful of the bad stuff I'm doing and put more of the good stuff into it. Anyway, now more on today's adventure. I am here in Essex, Vermont and I'm at Fleet Feet. Now, Fleet Feet is a place that I've heard of through a couple of my coworkers, a couple of my physical therapists, and my most recent physical therapist. And with the problems I have had in my feet in the past with the plantar fasciitis and this recurring heel issue and the pain that I've been having in my calves on this journey, my most recent physical therapist suggested inserts, but also said, get your butt to Fleet Feet, whatever they say is your shoe or whatever you need is likely what I need. Get good shoes now. For some reason, I feel very much like a poser walking in here. I don't feel like I'm at all ready to need running shoes, but I'm training for a half marathon, and even if that training takes a year, it's going to consist of a lot of running and a lot of working out, so I might as well just bite the bullet and assume I need the good shoes. Now let's head on inside. I have to say the people in Fleet Feet are so responsive. I didn't even have time to like look around before somebody like swarmed on me and she was so nice. I don't even know her name, but she kind of got right into what I needed, got me on their like foot measuring machine, which is really the reason I went. I was told that they get you on this machine. It looks at all your different feet angles and tells you the perfect shoe for you. I found the perfect shoe for me. It was about $130, so I said I'd come back and get it later, which means I'll probably buy it online. Although I do have a gift certificate slash and coupon to Fleet Feet, so I don't know if that's going to make it worth it. But when I saw the $130 price tag, I was like, no. But I definitely knew on the complete journey here that shoes were going to be expensive and that shoes were going to be something that I was going to need to buy multiple times. And the fact that my feet hurt and my this new tendonitis bursitis is happening and I've had some calf and groin pain on this whole journey that maybe if I get the right shoes all of this will be not happening so we'll find out it's I think this was a pretty short video but I will definitely let you know when I buy my shoes right now I will use the shoes I have because that's what I have and that's what I have to do but I'm definitely moving in the direction of buying expensive shoes from the physical therapist. I will be borrowing some inserts to see kind of what will work and if I like them. So that will be coming even before the shoes get here, but I guess my birthday's coming, so I guess I'll ask for a birthday present for gift certificates because these shoes are so expensive, nobody will buy them for me for my birthday. Nobody but I can get a gift certificate so maybe it'll be like 
$30 to $40 less for me. You never know. I hope you have enjoyed this small video. I Let me know how your journey's going. How do you feel like my journey went this last week? It was an adventure, so... And uh, if you're interested in the next video, I am currently, I'm going to be going shopping with a co-worker and we're going to try on American Eagle jeans. This will either make me feel really good about myself or really bad about myself. We will see, but it will be an adventure. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.